Hi students, in this video we will see what a shallow terminal is and also have a look at some of the very basic Linux commands. So right now what you are seeing is the Ubuntu 18 window. Ubuntu 18 is a Linux distribution. Let's open a terminal. I will increase the font size a bit. Okay, so what is a terminal? Terminal is just a process running on the CPU which allows us to type in various commands and based on what we enter it will execute certain actions and it will show me the corresponding output. So there is a set of predefined commands and what happens if I type in something which is not a command? It will say command not found. So now I will go through some of the very basic commands starting with PWD. PWD stands for print working directory and it gives me the absolute path of my current directory. So I am currently at home slash Saurabh. Now that I know which directory I am in, I want to know what all are the files or folders which are inside this directory. So I can use the ls command. It shows me all the files and other folders inside this. And there are certain hidden files which start with the dot. And it is not showing me those as of now. I can use the hyphen a argument which will show me all the hidden files along with other files and folders. So let's say if I want to create a new folder, uh, I can use mkdir command. So I will create a new folder called folder1 and if you do ls, so you can see that there is a new folder called folder1. So how can I get inside folder1? I can use cd command to change the directory. So I will type cd space folder1 and now you can see that the present directory is home slash sorrow slash folder1. If I do ls you can see that there is no file inside this folder. Let's create a new file. You can create a new file using touch command. So I will write touch new.txt and let's see. So now you can see that there is a new file called new.txt. I will create another folder inside this. So now if I want to move this new file to folder 2, how can I do that? I can use the mv command. So I will type mv, then the source path which is new.txt and the destination path. So the destination is folder 2. So here if you see, uh, we don't have new file inside folder 1. And if we go to folder 2 and do ls so here it is and how can we move it back to parent directory so there is a special directory called dot dot which uh, points to the parent directory if i go back to the parent directory i will use cd space dot dot and it will take me back to the parent directory now uh, let's go inside folder 2 again and okay and now i want to move this new file back to folder 1 so i can use mv new.txt and dot dot so it will move this new.txt file to the parent directory so it's not here and if we go back to the parent so new.txt is back in folder 1 so what if i want to copy this new file to folder 2 so that it's both in folder 1 and folder 2 i can use cp new.txt folder 2 so cp is the source path and the destination path so now if you do ls so new, we have a new file here and inside folder 2 also we have the new file. Okay. So how can we delete a file? I can use the rm command. If I press rm space new.txt. So now if I do ls you can see that that file is not here. So it has deleted this new file. Let's go to the parent directory and let's try to remove folder 2 using the same rm command. So it says it cannot remove because it is a directory. So we can use rmdir command which is used to remove a directory. So now if you do ls, it has removed folder 2. But rmdir can only be used when a folder is empty. So if I go to uh, the parent directory and try to remove folder 1, it says fail to remove because directory is not empty. So how can we remove a directory along with its contents we can use rm with r argument so here r stands for recursive 
so it will recursively delete everything which is inside folder one and then it will delete folder one itself so now if i do ls you can see that we don't have folder one anymore so now let's see another command which is used to install new packages so which is the apt command so if i want to install virtualbox i can type apt install uh, virtualbox it says could not open log file permission denied and why does it say so so if i want to install anything in my ubuntu i need root privilege so if i want to run any command with root privilege i can type in sudo space that command and it will run this command with root privilege so it asks for my password i'll enter the password if it has started installing and it says uh, this much mb of additional disk will be used so i'll exit the installation for now using control plus c now whenever i come across any new command and i want to know what it does i can use the man command which shows us the manual page of any command so if i type man space pwd it tells me that it prints the full file name of the current working directory and i can exit this using q and let's see the man page of ls command so it says that it lists information about the files and uh, if you remember we had used this a argument and it says that it do not ignore entry starting with a dot so it shows all the files including the hidden files okay so let's exit this uh, in fact there is a man page for man command itself and it says this is an interface to the online reference manuals you can go through these man pages and learn about different arguments uh, finally how can we exit the shell you can use the exit command so that's it for this video thanks and have a nice day